Uh, we are sitting with 60 degrees in San Angelo. We do have winds coming in on the light side from the south at 10 miles an hour. Around the rest of the nation, we do have this pocket of warmer air from Texas. That stretches up into the Midwest around Missouri, Kansas, and parts of Nebraska as well. we got a lot of 50s in those areas. Even a few areas in the 60s for southern Texas as well as the southwest. Otherwise, we've got a lot of teens, 20s, 30s, and 40s everywhere else in the United States. Now, we do have, with the severe weather outlook, this non-severe threat that does encompass a little bit of Texas here, and actually part of that does cover a portion of the Contra Valley, mostly in the southeastern corner around Mason. So we are seeing some spotty showers right now in New Mexico, and those are slowly making their way into our region. Otherwise, we've got a line of clouds all the way into the Great Lakes area, and then we have a few freeze warnings and watches around the southeast as well. Zooming into our region, we are going to continue to see those cloudy conditions sticking around as we get through majority of our morning into the afternoon hours. A little bit more sunshine later today. Highs are expected to be in the low to mid 70s and then closer to the upper 70s for Robert Lee and Sterling City today. Now, as we get into tomorrow, those temperatures are going to be dropping down. We have a cold front that's going to make its way into our region and then we are going to feel those cooler temperatures especially with the winds coming in from the north up to 20 miles an hour tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be feeling a little bit chilly outside. And then heading into Friday, we're going to start off the morning with more cloudy conditions. And we will have the cooler dry air pushing through, but it's almost like it kind of pushes off to the east of us. So it's going to leave us a little bit of moisture as we head into this upcoming weekend. That's going to give us opportunity for scattered showers as we get into Saturday. And then as we get into the first half of next week, we'll be back in the upper 60s to low 70s with partly cloudy skies.